With the new iPhone coming out this week, we decided that we should try to make a vlog in the same way that we do all of our others, but instead of using our setup, we'll use in only the iPhone. Solamente iPhone. We're only gonna use the iPhone on here, nothing else. And you guys can tell us how close we get to the original vlog. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a challenge. So come and hide, hide with me. Seeing as this is going to be shot entirely on the iPhone, I usually start out the vlog with like a time lapse or a drone shot. So here's a time lapse that I filmed yesterday on the iPhone. Oh my gosh, that was so out of focus. Note to self, you need to manually focus when you do time lapses on the iPhone 10. So here's an in focus one I took later. After I have the intro shots of the vlog, I usually do some kind of like a walking and talking shot. Um, this front facing camera on the iPhone is great. Bad news is it's not 4K, but the good news is it's pretty stable and it looks really good. What do you think, Eminem? I guess you could have 4K if you turned it around, but that's kind of impractical to have it facing away from you, right? Yeah, this is hard. So one thing I've noticed is the slow-mo is... The slow motion is really hard to deal with. It automatically slows it down to like 30 frames a second, but I edit in 24, so I'd rather them just export it in 120, which is what I film it in. Kind of frustrating, but really good for the people that don't know how to manipulate slow-mo to get something usable out of the camera. So I have to go in the camera, manipulate it up to 120, and then export it. You're probably bored. It just... I'm not loving the slow-mo so far. It also needs a lot of light because the iPhone sensor is so small, it gets really grainy when you're filming, especially with the telephoto lens for super slow-mo. So that's just one little tidbit. Are you excited to be in Nashville? Yes, I'm back among the living. Back in the town in which you and I met and I, attended college. We've been flying since three this morning, basically, and I refuse to be on the vlog before now. Nine. Ariel just woke up. I am still tired. <laughs> it's it? it's Unlocked. it's 36. When we got on the plane, it was what 85. Yeah. Woo! So well, we're in Nashville. We've gotten here. We've arrived. We're almost at our destination so we'll wrap this up I think I have some thoughts about the iPhone first of all I really like it I think it's gonna make it's gonna have a permanent spot in the vlog but I think that that spot comes from its portability the best camera is the one that you have with you and I think that that is the niche that the iPhone fills it's one of the best cameras out there that fits in your pocket but it is still certainly a phone with a camera on it rather than a camera with a phone on it the dynamic range is good but it's still really noisy because you can't adjust the ISO, uh, especially with the telephoto lens in slow-mo because it has to have that high shutter speed. It's just really dark, really hard to get anything out, and the camera is automatic and it tries to make the picture usable by adjusting the ISO way up and then it just ruins it by making it too noisy. So you'd have to denoise it in post-production. It's a mess. Um, so that's probably like unusable. Uh, I think it's gonna be a great way to catch like 4K video if there's something cool happening and I don't have my other camera with me. It was a challenge to make a vlog in the way that I make a vlog with the iPhone though. But I really do like it. For photos, the stills camera is crazy good. I think we saw the picture we took of you the other night, you know? Yeah, the portrait mode is great. The portrait mode is awesome. Even the bokeh you get without using the portrait mode is great. Um, and that's another thing is the new iPhone lens having that super wide aperture gives you a lot more like bandwidth of focus and the depth of field is a lot shallower. So things go in and out of focus a lot. You have to be a lot more cautious than you were with the old iPhone that your subject is in focus because a lot of times it won't be now that there's definitely a foreground and a background in subjects out to like, I don't know, maybe three feet. That's really interesting too. I think especially when you use it like in daylight in 4K, 24 frames per second, 
money. It's super sharp. I give it a thumbs up. Be sure to tune in later next week for the Nashville Travel Guide. It's going to be amazing. This is what it looks like recording video on the scooter on the iPhone 10. If anyone is thinking about using the iPhone 10 to record video on a scooter, this is how stable your video from your scooter will be. 